Here we have a 1987 Toyota four-wheel drive truck. It is one of the ones done by Winnebago and Toyota and have built this, uh, I guess, kind of extreme extended cab. Um, I'll give you a quick peek of the inside. A little bit of a mess. She is an old truck. Kind of a neat system in it. Anyhow, what we're here to show you is this is one of the conversions to the 1.9 Volkswagen turbo diesel. It is the Canadian edition motor from 1997. It's the AAZ motor. Bone stock, I believe these were 72 horsepower, somewhere in around 125 pound-feet of torque. Uh, this one has had an in upgraded injector pump by Mr. Giles Galley at Performance Diesel in Ontario, Canada. You can see the fit and finish is actually uh, fairly respectable inside the engine bay. Little tiny 1.9 using the factory A3, the small factory A3 turbo. With the upgrade to the injector pump, we have turned up the boost on the turbo to 16 pounds, and we are not intercooled at this point. Uh, other than that, we have a K&N open element air filter, and that's about it. It is mated through one of our adapters to the factory four-cylinder five-speed transmission. We have moved it forward three inches using the V6's cross member, which did require a little bit of modifications to the drive shafts. Uh, best way to do it, go through a drive shaft shop, get them to do your modifications, or simply get the drive shafts from the same bodied V6 truck. We'll take you out for a quick run in this and show you the performance. Uh, starting wise, now today here, since I am in Canada, it is minus 26 degrees Celsius. Uh, in Fahrenheit, it's probably also somewhere around minus 20. So the truck has been warmed up already once this morning. It did start using the glow plugs. It didn't like to start, but it did start. There we are, fires up nice and smooth. And we'll see if we can get some lights on our dash here. So we can actually show you the speedo. Other than the tach tachometer, all gauges do work. Volt, oil pressure, water temperature, of course the speedometer still works. Uh, today we will be in four-wheel drive because it's not exactly a nice day out. And uh, in two-wheel drive she tends to want to spin the tires too much. With the upgrade to the injector pump and the turning up the boost a little bit on the turbo, I would estimate we're at about 85 to 87 horsepower, somewhere now in around 160 pound-feet of torque. The highway looks fairly bare right now, so we'll take this out for a bit of a speed test. First gear, I'll try and get in here on the speedometer. All right, so now remember this is kilometers an hour, so if you look in the orange gauge, that'll give you your miles. Let's get into it. No rocket, she's no slouch either. So there's 50 miles an hour. Got into fourth gear. Fourth gear still pushing it up. Once again, we are in four wheel drive. We're on 31 inch tires, 410 gear ratio. Everything's pretty much stock. Fifth gear, holding 60 miles an hour and accelerating, although. Conditions out right now. I think I'd like to slow down a bit. Uh, tests of the last week have proven with this setup in these conditions, and we had quite a bit of snow running in four wheel drive, doing mostly in town driving, being a little hard on the throttle. When worked out to the US gallon, we we're pulling off 20 miles to the gallon, which, while not overly impressive on its face when you figure we are running winter diesel here in Canada which is nowhere near as good as summer fuel uh, the fact that it has been running in the minus 18 to minus 26 is where we are and running through snow in four-wheel drive at all times I don't think 20 miles to the gallon is uh, is all that bad estimates and other ones we've done in the summer are pulling off 32 33 and one went as high as 36 miles to the gallon and the one that actually got the 36, he's on 456 gears and 35-inch tires. And that was measured when he was 